Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Find the Missing Number. Now in this tutorial we're going to do numbers up to 9 and we're going to do subtraction. So numbers up to 9 and subtraction and this is going to be tutorial A. So let's have a look at the question we're going to be working through. Now suppose we have this question here. We've got 7 minus something equals 3. 7 minus something equals 3. Now I'm sure some of you will be able to work this out just by looking at the question. We're going to use the different methods so that we understand this fully. So the first method we're going to use is the dot method. So let's just write that down. The dot method. Now how do we use the dot method? Well let's write the question again so that we can do some workings out here. 7 minus something equals 3. Now with the dot method what we're going to do is the first number which is 7 we're going to put that many dots above the number. So we've got seven, let's put seven dots above the number. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have now got seven dots above number seven. Now the answer we need to come to, which is after the equal sign, is three. So we have to cross out these dots until only three are left. So let's do that. We're going to cross out this one here. We're going to cross out one more, one more, and one more. That leaves the three dots, which is our answer, which comes after the equal sign. Now how many dots did we cross out? Well, let's count them. We crossed out one, two, three, and four. We crossed out four dots. We put that into the box and that is our answer. 7 minus 4 equals 3. 7 minus 4 equals 3. So that is how we use the dot method. It's nice and easy. Now we're going to use the number line. And don't forget the number line is simply a line with numbers. It can start at any number, it can end at any number. So let's draw our number line here. We're going to start from here. And our number line is going to start at 0. And let's count upwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, let's keep going. 9 and last one is 10. So that is our number line from the numbers 0 to 10. So how do we do this? Well looking at the question, what number do we have to end on? Let's look at that first. Well after the equal sign we have to finish at 3. So let's put a circle around the number 3 on our number line. So we have to finish here. What number do we start at? Well, we start at, in the question it tells us, we start at number 7. So let's put a dot above number 7 here. So we're starting at number 7, and we have to finish at 3. So we're going to be going backwards. We're going to be taking away, which is right, because that's what it says in the question. So let's see how many jumps we have to make from 7 to land on 3. So let's do that now. So we got 7, 1, 2, 3, 4. And we're now at number 3. How many jumps did we make? 1, 2, 3, 4. So we made 4 jumps to get from 7 to 3. 4 is the answer. That's the number we put in the box. Now look, at, look over here. It's the same answer. So we can use the dot method or the number line to come to the same answer. Well, we can actually use one more method. We're now going to use the 
simply the counting method. The counting method. Now how does a counting method work? Well we've done this with numbers below 5 and we can do this over here as well. What we're doing is we're starting at number 7 okay that's what it tells us in the question and we have to finish at 3. So we're starting at 7 and we have to finish at 3. Now in this example also what we can do is use our fingers. You can use the dot method or the number line but here we're going to use our fingers. So we're going to start at 7 and we're going to count backwards. So I want you to hold out both hands, turn them into fists, in other words put your fingers inside and I want you to count each time you count backwards hold out one finger. Okay, so we start at 7 Excuse me. We start at 7 and we're going to count backwards. So 7, what comes before 7? We've got 6, so hold out one finger. The number before that is 5, hold out another finger. Count backwards, 4, hold out another finger and 3, hold out another finger. So we've now counted from 7 down to 3. How many fingers are you holding? Well you should be holding 1, two, three, four. You should be holding four fingers. And that four is the same answer as we get over here and the one we get over here. So that is how we do find the, how we find the missing number with numbers up to nine with subtraction using either the dot method, the number line or the counting method.